Okay, Tig, you've just told your teammates you're going to retire. How was it to tell them? Yeah, extremely difficult. Um, very, very emotional, obviously. Um, it's n never easy. Um, I did it once before, I suppose, <laughs> when I announced I was going back to Ireland, but very different, you know, it's obviously very final, I suppose, but uh, that was one of the toughest things I've ever had to do, um, just looking at your mates, I suppose, because you uh, have so much passion and love in the room that uh, it's a very, very, very emotional time for, for, for someone. And I often, you know, I've seen a lot of players in the past trying to fight back the tears, but uh, I, was, I was very much the same. And why have you decided this, the time is right now? Oh, look, I think it's right for me. I think I'm, I've battled with myself over the last month and my form hasn't been great and I've battled with myself over, you know, should I go, shouldn't I go? And I'm quite a stubborn person. In the past, I've always tried to fix things myself on the field and I'll do it myself. And, and that's probably why it's, I suppose the last month's been difficult for me mentally to try and get myself going. But I think right now it's just the right time for me to, to finish. You know, I'm looking forward to playing Brisbane this weekend and, and getting deep into September. And uh, I think I know, I know I've made the right decision. It just feels right now. Mm. You must have gone through a lot of emotions making the decision because, I mean, you came here as a 17 year old, mm. you're now 30, you've been here half your life. Yeah, look, uh, this place has been my family. You know, I've been away from, away from my family for, you know, like I said, half my life. So it's, uh, it's a difficult, difficult decision to come out here, but uh, just to finish up because there's so many people that have made me as a person and the values and, and morals that I've got from, from this football club has, has made me as a person. And um, that's why I suppose the decision has been so hard and so emotionally hard on, on me. And now when you look back over your career, which I'm sure you'll be, you'll be doing a bit of at the moment, um, what, what's the real highlight for you? Um, I th I th obviously, the 2005 was, was fantastic, but I think just the, the mates and the people, not just the football mates, but the people around the club as well, that I've become extremely close, life lifelong friends with, with that, you know, I'll call them, you know, do you want to go for a beer, you know, and it's just those people that I'm going to be forever indebted to have helped my career, but people that have been involved just in the football club themselves that have been very close to me, and that's probably been the the number one thing that I'll take away from the club, yes, the success on field's been great, but uh, probably the, the friendships that I've made. And to be able to go back to Ireland and, and you know, fulfil your dream of winning, winning an All-Ireland mm. while still, you know, then being able to come back, that must be a great achievement for you. Yeah, it is. I, I still, I suppose, I haven't gone back as such looking at my career, you know, I, I'm still playing and uh, that, that's, it has been, it has been, look, it was, it, was, it was fantastic to be able to go back and, and win a premiership and, and to win one here um, and to achieve, achieve both in, uh, in the codes, but it's, uh, it's still something that I haven't as such really went back and looked at myself and gone, oh God, I did that or, you know, it's, it's, I'm still kind of not finished, if you know what I mean, and that's why I haven't looked back on it as such as a person, but I will in the next few months and years to come. So there's still a bit to achieve this season, Ty? Yeah, certainly. Look, uh, looking forward to Brisbane. That would be the last home game of the SCG. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And um, getting deep into September, you know, so we can shake a few teams in September. All right, thanks. It's been wonderful having you at the club for 12 years. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. Look, and I'd like to thank all the supporters and, and all the fans that, you know, I went through some difficult times in 05 and the support that I got from, from supporters and from, from friends, I suppose, around the actual football club and around Sydney has been unbelievable and I'll be forever indebted to the people of Sydney for, for that support and uh, that's why I suppose I love the place so much because of that support that I got throughout my career. So thanks very much and it's, uh, it's been great to be a, a Sydney Swans footballer.